This is part four of our art project. We're going to add circles to our graphs or ellipses. So you don't have to know all about circles and ellipses to be able to do this. It's rather simple. So the equation for an ellipse is we'll enter a bracket, x divided by the radius. So if we want the radius to be 5, and you need to cursor over to the right to get the bracket in the right spot, and then raise to the power 2, plus bracket y divided by the radius squared equals 1. So now we have a nice circle, radius 5. If you want it to be ellipse, all you have to do is change the radius for the x or the y. So if I wanted this to be 10, now it's more like a rugby ball shape. It's an ellipse. If I wanted to make the x wider, then I would just change the radius for the x to be bigger. Now, how do we move it? Again, to navigate, I'm just clicking and dragging on the graph. All I have to do is subtract where I want it to go. So subtract means to move to the right. So I'm going to move that to the right five units. If I want to move it left, I'm going to add five. And I can do the same thing with the Y value. If I wanted to move up, I'm going to subtract track six, or if I wanted to move down, I'm going to add six. That's all there is to an ellipse. Nothing terribly difficult. Just remember, you need to put brackets and squared. And it's the x value divided by the radius in the horizontal, the y value divided by the radius in the vertical. And remember, squared and equals one. And in case you don't know how to do power of, you need to press shift six for the caret character. And that's the upside down V. With the ellipse, we can also restrict the domain and range. Y is greater than or equal to negative four. And you can also add in the domain here. X is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so it puts an or condition for both domain and range, so it combines it together. But if you want the domain and range as a restriction, we just enter separate curly brackets. So we have one bracket here, one set of brackets here, and one set of brackets here, and it's an AND condition. It makes sure that Y is greater than or equal to 4, and X is greater than 0. And when we're talking about part of a, an ellipse or circle, we call that an arc. And that completes the circle tutorial.